Hello and welcome. Want cheap effective plant food for your hydroponic system? Today I'll show you three homemade liquid fertilizer recipes you can brew at home, plus how to use them safely so your hydroponics doesn't clog, crash or invite pathogens. These work beautifully for lettuce, herbs and greens. If you follow the dilution and filtration steps I'll be showing you. Hydroponics might seem a world away from soil gardening, but the principles are the same. Provide water, air, and nutrients for plants to thrive. Making your own nutrients saves money and brings a bit of the garden's living biology into modern systems. In soil, microbes break down organic matter for roots. In hydroponics, we must facilitate that ourselves. These recipes bridge the gap, using organic, readily available materials to create nutrient solutions full of life. So, let's get started. Our first recipe is aerated compost tea, a probiotic tonic for your plants and system. It introduces beneficial microorganisms that help make nutrients available and outcompete pathogens. Use mature, sweet-smelling compost steeped in dechlorinated water inside a mesh bag. Aerate the mixture with an aquarium air pump and air stone for 24-36 hours, adding a tablespoon of unsulfured molasses to feed the microbes. The bubbling encourages aerobic microbes to multiply. If it smells earthy, it's good. If sour, discard and try again. After brewing, remove the compost bag and filter the tea through cheesecloth or muslin to remove fine particles. This step is crucial. Solids will clog your hydroponic system. Dilute the tea. One part tea to 10 parts water in your reservoir. Start weak, observe your plants, and adjust as needed. For edible greens, Filter thoroughly and consider pasteurizing to reduce pathogen risk. Worm castings can be used instead of compost for a cleaner brew. The tea may cloud your water. This is normal. Monitor pH and EC. The tea has a mild effect but check regularly. Benefits appear in a few days. Healthier roots and more vigorous growth. The microbes help roots absorb nutrients more efficiently. Aerated compost tea brings life to your hydroponic garden treating it as a living ecosystem, not a sterile factory. It's a bit of extra work, but the improvement is worth it. Try it and see the difference in your plants. Remember, filter well, dilute, and monitor your system. This gentle brew is a great first step into organic hydroponics. Give it a try. Our second recipe is Fish Emulsion, a classic nitrogen-rich organic fertilizer. It's made from fish industry leftovers, processed into a thick, nutrient-packed liquid. Fish emulsion delivers fast and slow-release nutrition, perfect for leafy greens. You can buy it or make your own by fermenting fish scraps with molasses and water, but store-bought is more practical for most. The challenge. It's thick, oily, and full of fine solids that can clog hydroponic systems. Always filter it. First, dilute in water, 1 TSP per 4L. Then strain through a fine filter bag followed by muslin or a coffee filter. Use a mesh sock on your pump intake for extra protection. Fish emulsion breaks down in water, using up oxygen and risking anaerobic conditions. Change your solution weekly and aerate well. Watch for foul smells. If detected, change the solution immediately. Aeration is essential. Keep an air stone bubbling in your reservoir. Adding fish emulsion will raise your EC. Monitor it daily as plants consume nutrients. Fish emulsion is acidic and may lower pH. Test and adjust to keep it between 5.8 and 6.5. The results, lush, rapid growth and improved flavor in herbs and greens. It's a complex diet for your plants, not just simple salts. Fish emulsion demands careful filtering, frequent solution changes, and close monitoring. If you commit to the process, you'll see vibrant, productive plants. It's a bit of the ocean's bounty right in your home. Respect the process and you'll be rewarded. For organic hydroponics, fish emulsion is a powerful tool. Use it wisely for spectacular results. Our final recipe is fermented plant juice, or FPJ a cornerstone of Korean natural farming. FPJ captures the essence of fast-growing plants by fermenting young shoots with brown sugar. The sugar draws out sap, hormones, enzymes, and beneficial microbes, creating a potent, biologically active liquid.
FPJ is a biocatalyst, not a complete fertilizer. It stimulates growth and helps plants use nutrients more efficiently. To make it, collect vigorous plant tips in the morning, chop them, and mix with equal weight brown sugar. Layer in a jar, pressing down, and top with sugar. Cover with a breathable cloth and ferment in a cool, dark place for 5-7 days. Strain the liquid. This is your FPJ concentrate. Use leftover solids and compost. FPJ is potent. Dilute 1 mm per liter of water in hydroponics. Because it's organic and sugary, it can cause biofilm buildup. Use in non-recirculating systems or be ready for frequent cleaning. Avoid systems with fine emitters as they'll clog. FPJ won't register much on an EC meter. Its value is biological. Continue using your base nutrient, but you may be able to reduce it slightly. Watch for a growth spurt or deeper green leaves after application. FPJ is an advanced technique. Handle with care. It's a subtle, biological boost, not a heavy dose of NPK. Harness the energy of plants to unlock new vitality in your hydroponic garden. Try FPJ for a unique natural edge. There you have it, three homemade recipes for your hydroponic system. From compost teas microbes, to fish emulsions nitrogen, to the vitality of FPJ, each brings something unique. The key is observation. Let your plants guide you. Homemade fertilizers save money and add resilience, but require care. Filter, test, aerate, and start weak. It's easier to add more than to fix an overdose. This approach reconnects us to the cycles of growth and decay, turning waste into nourishment. Download the printable recipes below, experiment, and make them your own. Subscribe for more and comment DIY Hydroponics if you've tried these or have your own recipes to share. Happy growing!